been a while since I've done a video about Scottish words and vocabulary. So I figured I'd do a video all about words that I've learned in work. If you don't know, I'm a support worker for people with dementia. So I work with a lot of elderly people and they come away with the best Scottish words. And there's words that I've never heard before that I've heard from them that I've learned. I've had to be like, what does that mean? And then they'd tell me and I'd be like, Oh, that's, that's a word for a video. I'm going to tell you 10 words I've learned. They're just the best. They're the best people to learn from. I've learned some cracking words from them, so here we go. A word that I hear a lot in work is flitting. I'm pretty sure this word is also used in some places in England, but it's a word that's generally used with the kind of older generation, I think, and it means to move house. So I first heard it when I was talking to somebody I support about where they lived before and I would say oh where did you live before this place or where did you live after this place and they would say oh well after that house I flitted to such and such and I'd be like flitted because it's not a word that I grew up with it's a, not a word that I've really heard regularly but since working with elderly people I hear it all the time the next word is a fun word and I originally thought it meant something else whenever they asked about my weekend or what I got up to at the weekend they would always ask so did you get a lumber? I remember the first time I heard it, I was like, what the hell is a lumber? Like, does that mean something that... I originally thought it meant kiss. My generation, I grew up with the word whinge. Like a whinge to mean kiss or make out or whatever. But that's what I thought lumber meant. But I'm pretty sure lumber just means a successful chatting up or a relationship or a date. I checked online and that's what the Scots word dictionary thing says. And usually they would ask like if you've been out clubbing or if you're out at the weekend they would say so did you get a lumber? And I remember the first time I was like did I get a what? <laughs> this is a fun one as well. Occasionally when I worked in the daycare I would write on the board like I'd play hangman with them and I would write up like my words and stuff and they would always comment on the fact that I'm left-handed. I remember one woman saying to me oh you're a cory fister and I was like I fist what? <laughs> and I put two and two together and I realised that it means I'm left-handed. I think it's just it's a Scots or Doric type word. I'm going to check right now. Yeah, so I was right, so it's Doric. If you don't know, Doric means Mid-Northern Scots or uh, Northeastern Scots, which is the Scots language that is spoken in these areas or was spoken in these areas. This next one isn't a word I learned when I was at work, but I thought I'd throw it in there because I learned it from my gran. So the word is Ben, basically the word is Ben. And she would say, go and put that Ben in the kitchen, or I'd say, oh, where's the such and such? And she'd go, it's Ben the living room. Ben just means in, like inside, so Ben the kitchen, it's inside the kitchen. And I thought this was just a normal word that was used all the time. But I remember when I told people I know, like, not that long ago, they were like, never heard that. That's interesting, but it is, it's a Scots word for inside. I love this one. This is a word that I also heard before work, but it's used a lot in my work. When we would do, like, activities or we would all sit and have a chat, some of them would say, oh, let's all curry in. And it just means all nestle in and get close or cuddle in, huddle in, curry in. It's a cute one. So this next one is a word as well that I think is possibly used in places in England too. But I first heard it from a Scottish song that we used to sing in work called Roman in the Gloaming. And I always used to sing it like, Roman in the Gloaming. Like, what the hell's a Gloaming? I've never heard that before. Tune. Gloaming just means dusk. Roman in the dusk. The next one I knew before work, but it's also used a lot by the people that I support. And it's gallus. And gallus is a great Scottish word. Like, it's a brilliant word. And it means bold, daring. Like, he was a gallus guy. He's a bulging, you know, he's gallus. Shaking my fingers all over the shop. Right. Steamy. Steamy's a good one because I wasn't really aware of the steamy before I started my job. I first learned about it because I watched a film, like they had a DVD in work called The Steamy and it was about all these women that were doing their laundry or doing their, their washing. A steamy is just a communal wash house. There's a play called The Steamy and if you're interested in learning the language and learning Scots words or you know, what the steamy was like back then, then I would recommend watching it because it's pretty funny. This one is another one that I learned from a song that a woman used to sing and I thought she was originally being rude as well, like Lumber. I thought she was being rude because she sang Edinburgh Castle stands upon a rock. Everyone that passes has to show their cock a bendy. And obviously you think she's going to say the first word but then she carries on to say cock a bendy. And I don't think that's how the song actually goes, it's something else but... She used to sing cockabendy and I used to think, like, what the heck's a cockabendy? So I looked it up today. <laughs> so a cockabendy could mean either a small, bumptious, 
what a great word, or somewhat effeminate man also applied affectionately to a small boy or it can mean a woman in a derogatory, wow, it can mean a woman in a derogatory sense. But then I also saw another couple of meanings of it as well. A cockabendi is an instrument for twisting ropes consisting of a hollow piece of wood held in the hand through which a pin runs or a boat made by folding a sheet of paper to the appropriate shape, a cockabendi. There's a lot of meanings apparently for cockabendi. Whatever one she was singing, I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't know. The last word's my favourite because the people that I support are really, really passionate about this and they love talking about this and it's the dancing. So when they were my age or younger, they used to go to the dancing. That's what they did at the weekend or during the week, whatever, to socialise. They would go to the dancing, which was just what we would probably call out clubbing now but obviously they didn't go out clubbing they went to the dance and it was totally different back then and I actually think it seemed a lot better back then than what it is now like I'm not a huge clubber so they always ask me like did you go out dancing at the weekend did you go to the dancing at the weekend and I'll be like yeah or no or whatever but the dancing when they were younger was usually a hall like either a masonic or a, a town hall and there would be a band playing so the band would play all their songs that they knew and they would do like the types of dances like waltzing jiving all of that kind of thing. I love hearing about it because they had so much fun and that's how the majority of them met their partners and they met their partners at the dancing and then they get married quite young and had children and all of that and, and when they were younger, imagine this, so all the men and women would dress nicely, the men would be wearing their shirts and trousers or their suits and the women would be wearing their skirts or their dresses. So obviously now like guys wear like t-shirts and jeans but back then it was much smarter. The men would stand at one side and the women would stand at the other side and the men would ask the women to dance. Like, it's just mad, it's totally different and then they would do their types of dances and it wouldn't matter if you were a bad dancer apparently, they would just go up anyway and they would dance with their friends and it just, it sounds nice, it sounds nice. Personally, I wouldn't like the people to stand at the opposite side and then wait for to be asked to dance, like no, that I don't like the sound of that. But in general, having a wee band and all dancing together sounds nice. But anyway, so yeah, those are some words I hear at work quite a lot. And I just found it interesting and wanted to share them. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what other Scottish videos you want to see in the comments below. And you can follow me on all my social media. I'll link everything down below. Thanks very much for watching and see you later. Bye.